Hey guys, Proper English here. Today we're going to take a look at the issues that comparators have with pulses because I've been playing around with them a lot lately and sometimes things that should work don't. And so I think I've found the reason. Let's get started. This is a circuit that will allow us to look at what happens to a pulse when it goes through a comparator. We'll start by sending a two tick pulse into the comparator and you can see that was two ticks. We've got a three tick repeater in this monostable. And so that two tick pulse will come down through this repeater and this comparator. We've got a bunch of repeater lines so we can compare what's happening before the comparator, after the comparator, and we can compare it to what's happening with the repeater. So let's try this out. I'm going to freeze the frame at some point so we can get a good look at what's going on. All right, so this is our first situation. You can see there is a one tick pulse coming through the comparator, it's coming through at the same time as a two tick pulse comes through the repeater. Now if you look in the upper left hand corner, you can see that there was a two tick pulse before the comparator and a one tick pulse after the comparator. So the comparator is changing the pulse to a one tick pulse. This is our first situation, so let's see what else we can find. All right, so there's another one tick pulse. We'll try that again. All right, so this is our two tick pulse, and we're gonna try to get this once more so we can see what the actual timing is. Right now it looks like they're coming through at the same time, but I think that's because of the half tick delay. All right, so this is what I was hoping for. This is the situation where the comparator is faster than the repeater. So we're seeing a two tick pulse come through the comparator this time, and it's showing up, quicker than we see the pulse coming through the repeater. I think this is where the half tick delay comes into play. And so we alternate between those two situations, but not in any predictable fashion. So let's press the button a few more times and we'll see what happens. All right, so there is another two tick pulse. There's our one tick pulse. We got another one tick. There's a two tick. And there's another two tick. So this is kind of crazy. We're seeing all of these different pulses and we really can't predict what's happening, right? We can't predict if it's gonna be a one tick or a two tick. So that's an issue. Let's see what happens if we send a one tick pulse into the comparator. Now I've got a monostable circuit that will give us a one tick pulse as its output. We can test that over here, it's one tick. Let's see what happens on our timing line. When I press the button, okay, so this time we're seeing a one tick pulse on both sides and it's coming through faster on the comparator side. So there's less delay in the comparator. Let's try this again. Okay, this time we see it again. This time we see nothing. So that's our other situation. Sometimes we'll see a one tick pulse coming through the comparator, sometimes we won't. And that's a problem because there should be a pulse there. And we can try this again and again and there's no predictability to this. We'll press the button a few times, there's nothing, nothing, nothing. There's our pulse, there's nothing again. This is insane, we can't predict it at all. Let's see what happens if there is a steady input from a lever. So I've got a lever set up. This time we're going to focus on the pistons at the end of our timing line instead of the repeaters themselves. And so let's try this out. Okay, so this time they're extending at the same time. That's fine. Let's see if we can get any other situations. All right, so now you can see that the one with the comparator, the comparator line is going faster. It goes through slightly faster than the side with the repeater. And again, this is the exact same thing we're seeing. Sometimes we get the comparator line going faster. Sometimes it has the same exact delay as a repeater. And so I'm not sure what's going on. Hopefully we see it get fixed at some point. Remember, this is a snapshot, so things are, of course, not going to be perfect. But the reason I wanted to do this video was just so you guys know that if you're having some kind of issue with your comparator-based builds, 
it may not be something wrong with the build itself. Instead, it could be this timing issue with the comparator. So hopefully it helps you out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.